Anyoko said he cannot do anything to put the king on his feet. What does he mean by that? According to him, he said a lot of the gods will fall on him if he goes against their wish. Oh, I'm finished. Oh no, I am finished. Why would the gods allow this to happen to me? Why? Why would the gods win this? <laughs> Elders of our land, I greet you all. Mother, what is it? Mother, why, why are you crying? What is it? What happened? Please tell me my father is not dead. Tell me my father is not dead. Please. You evil child of mine. Is that what you wish your father? Huh? Or is not enough that you put him in this condition? You also wish him dead? Mother, how can you say such a thing? How can you say I put my father in his present condition? Mother, this is wrong. Why are you blaming me for, for, for all this? What did I do wrong? Uh, princess, calm down. Uh, calm down, please. Why are you telling her to calm down? Why? If she did not run away from the shrine yesterday, my husband wouldn't have been in this condition. Now, my husband's fate is tied to that useless son of Obiako. When will he get himself a wife to, 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 to perform the sacrifice? When? It's all right. Take it easy. <laughs> Please, take it easy. Oh, no, no, no. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. You all should warn the princess. Tell her to pray hard that nothing happens to my husband. Because if anything happens to my husband, you will see the other side of me. Nonsense. Of light. Mother, what troubles you? Mother, my heart is heavy. Yet I can't say exactly what the problem is. This is strange. I feel someone or group of people somewhere needs my help. Do not outrun your chin in the race of life. What do you mean, mother? You are a child of destiny. A daughter of light. The gods have always led you in all you do. Do not try to change that now. Mother, you know I will do no such thing. I am just bothered about the feelings I've been having lately. I understand you, daughter of light. But please, do not allow your emotions to affect your destiny. Allow the gods to always lead you. Now, why do you hate me so much? That my presence now irritates you. Why? I can't remember telling you I hate you. And I can't remember telling you that your presence irritates me. I only want to know what you want to, or I mean, what you're here for. I 
I came to see you for something very important. And what could that be? My father, the king, is very sick. And my mother blames me for his sickness. She said it's my fault. And how am I supposed to be in that picture? The sacrifice, Ikenna. Ikenna, you have to perform the sacrifice so you can free our people from this from this evil spirit of death roaming around. Please. And did anyone told you that I refuse to perform the so-called sacrifice? Ikenna, it's no longer news that you have to perform the sacrifice. And the only way you can perform the sacrifice is if you are married. So you need to get married. That is why I have come to see you. I came to beg you. Please. I beg you in the name of the gods. And everything you hold dear to your heart. Please. Princess. Please marry me. He cannot please. Please marry me. Marry me and save our people and my father from the spirit of death roaming around, please. Please. Princess, what is wrong with you? Eh? You're doing the unthinkable. If someone walks in here and see what you're doing, it won't be funny. Thank the gods no one is here again now. Thank the gods no one can see me and that is why I came without my maids. Because I know this is a very crucial and very important discussion to have with just you. Please. Princess, please stand up and leave before anyone comes in here and, 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 and see what you're doing. Please, you're going to put me into a problem. Please. Stand up and leave. Where is my wife coming from this afternoon without her maid? Baby? Baby, what is it? You're not looking bright at all. What is the problem? Obina, I am okay. Why did you stop me? Well, I was just coming from the palace and I was told you're not around. Thank the gods I met you here. So where is my beloved wife coming from without her maids? And is this why you stopped me here, Obina? Don't I have the right to know where my wife went to? And who exactly is your wife? Who is your wife, Obina? You, of course. As long as I'm concerned, the ritual of presentation of a bride to Ogugu was not completed between the two of us. And as a result, there is nothing whatsoever binding the two of us. So you have no right. You have no right to call me your wife. Please, princess, take it easy. Okay, look, I know that the ritual was not complete. Okay, and I also know that I have no right to call you my wife. Okay, but come on. I mean, that's why I went to the palace so that we can just sit down and talk. Look, I want us to make this thing work, okay? Please. I beg you. Obina, I am no longer interested in the marriage. My love, you can't, you can't. Did, did, you, did you hear me now? My love, please, you can't I do this. I said, I am no longer interested in getting married to you. My love, you can't do this to me. My love, please, you can't, you can't, you can't do this to me. I love you. Thank you. 
not saying anything. What do you want me to say? Father, I need you to tell me what to do. Look, I don't, I don't want to lose the princess. Son, there is time for everything. What, what do you mean, Father? This kingdom is passing through a lot. And as you know what, this kingdom, in the absence of my Igwe, it is my duty to make sure that everything goes on well in this kingdom. It goes really well. Father, let, let, let me get this thing straight. Are you trying to say that your son's happiness means nothing to you? The health of my Igwe and the happiness of my kingdom. Everybody here, including you, means a lot more to me. Your, your case with the princess will be addressed when my Igwe gets his health back. Keep it pending. Son, I have other things to attend to. Believe it. What? This is not my father. What is happening? What are you doing about this ugly situation? And what exactly do you want me to do? Are you asking me? Your marriage is about to collapse. Are you not bothered? Aloma, do you want my marriage to collapse? Come on, you're a woman like me. Why are you doing everything in your power to rub shame on my face? Have I ever wronged you? This is not the issue of you wronging me or not. See, let me tell you something. I'm not trying to collapse your marriage or trying to rub him on your face. All I'm trying to do here is trying to protect my brother. My only brother. Something me tells me that you know all about this. You know what's happening. But I don't know why you don't want to speak up. Aloma, I wish the gods can open my heart for you to see what is inside. That's the thing. The gods. You see these gods you just mentioned? When the time is right, the same gods will open everything. Mimi, don't say I didn't want you. My husband, the king, is not getting any better. We can't just sit here and watch him die without doing anything. Please, my elders, we have to do something and save the life of the king. Majesty, please relax. Nothing will happen to our king. Nothing. <clears throat> we are here to look for the way forward. I was with uh, Anyoku yesterday and he assured me that something can be done to save the life of our king. Okay. That's what he told me. Good. Good. See, I always knew that the gods will not allow our king to die just like that. Uh, well, he said we have two options. And those two options lies on the head of one man. Oh no, what are the options? And on who does those options follow? Oh no, go straight to the point and tell us what Anyoku told you. Anyoku said that Ike Nahir must get married as soon as possible. Option one. On the other hand, 
If he's not married, then he has to go and fetch water from Umiriamuma. Our king will drink the water and then bathe with it for seven days for him to get well. Now, you cannot. I invited you here for this meeting for you to hear what Anyoku said. Now, the choice is yours. What is your decision? Ikenna, you have heard what to know who said. What have you to say? Uh, sorry, I would uh, suggest that he goes home. Hmm? Think carefully about this before he takes a decision so that he doesn't, uh, yeah, so I wouldn't make mistakes. Iche, what are you talking about? Do you think you have time to waste here? Why are you telling him to go home and think over it? I'm not what I said. Why not? The truth is that I am not going home for anything. Huh. I have not seen the woman of my dream. Huh. And I'm not going to get married to any other person. I will go and fetch the water from Amiria Mama. So what are you doing here all alone? Ikena, what sort of human being are you? I don't understand. Why do you hate me so much? Why do you hate me with so much passion? Princess, can you please go straight to the point? I do not hate you. You don't hate me. Yet you rather fetch water from Umira Muma other than marry me and carrying out the sacrifice. I can't remember seeing you at that meeting. So how did you know I've decided to go to Miriam Muma? How? I heard everything that was said at that meeting. Oh, I see. You were eavesdropping on the elders' meeting. You can call it whatever you like. I don't care. I waited for you here to ask you why you hate me so much. But you know what? It has dawned on me that it does not matter what I feel about you. You will never ever care. But I wish you the best in everything you do. And may the gods be with you. She went to please. I needed to make something for me to eat. I'm very hungry and weak. So you mean Mimi left you in this house? She left you in this house without food. What is wrong with that girl? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. It is. I don't know. Somebody I call my wife will have. Abandon me in this kind of situation. I want to die. God forbid. God forbid. What am I living for? 
For me, you only die. You just want to die. See, I'm here for you, okay? I'm your family. In fact, I'm the only family you have now. Okay, you have to be strong for me. You're the only one that I have. Please. For me, you only die, okay? I'm going to prepare something for you. Okay. So, so, what did the doctor say about the results? The doctor said they couldn't find the cause of your sickness. Uh, uh, but, but don't worry, don't worry, you'll be fine. I know you'll be fine. Don't worry, okay? Uh -oh. Don't worry, don't cry. Let me go and make something for you to eat. Don't cry. Okay, please, I'm here for you, okay? Don't cry, okay, don't cry. It's okay. Sorry, it's okay. I'm sorry for you. I think that princess is. Seriously, that girl is seriously not okay. <laughs> Hold on. Is it the princess that you are referring to as that girl? What am I supposed to refer her as? Is she a man? Is she not a girl? Ha! Huh. Is she not? Well, I okay. know that the princess is not a man. But you should accord him some respect. Respect? She lost my respect the moment she made her father fall sick because of a man. Yes, she did. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? The, the princess has absolutely nothing, nothing to do with what happened to the Igwe. The Igwe fell sick the moment he heard that the princess ran away from the shrine <sighs> during the official presentation of the bride to the gods. Going on between she and Onowu's son. And you know the most annoying part of it? Is the person that made her did that does not even care about her. Uju. My name. Uju. But the elder said that whatever it is that is happening to the Igwe has something to do with the spirit of death hovering in this our kingdom. But come to think of it, why is Ikena not even doing what is expected of him? Please let the let Does the he poor, want all of us to let die? Let the poor boy be a beg. There's nothing, not, not, nothing is going to happen between anybody in this kingdom. Nothing would happen. I think you're doing a lot of gossip. Oh, really? Me? No, yes! Me! Because how can you say things that you're not sure Tell of? me about it! We're talking about the princess here. That girl is too arrogant for my liking. I don't even like her. That's the princess, so I'm, I don't that's care. The prince, I'm telling you. And I'm a maid. Father. Did he finally agree to take a bride and uh, perform the sacrifice? He said he has not seen any woman he loves or likes in this kingdom. So he's not prepared to, to get married right now. What, what, what nonsense is that? I mean, what is he trying to... What, what's that supposed to mean? Father, you see why I say that young man is so stupid? No, no, have you seen it? That young man is so stupid and senseless. He's so full of himself. Shh. Watch your tongue. You don't call... The, the one chosen by the gods' names. Don't forget that Ikena is the one chosen by the gods. Father, by the gods, everyone's life here is at stake. That does not give you the right to, 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 to you swear words on him. Don't let, call let, him let him do the right thing, Father. Let him just do the right thing. Father, our Igwe's life is even at stake. Igwe is not going to die. Ikena has promised to visit uh, Emilia Mama. Get the water from there. We we'll go, we we'll drink it, and they'll bathe with him for seven days, and all is well. He has assured us. 